How you doing, air suspension owners? We're here on a rainy day in SoCal, California, and we wanted to go through the reason we created the compressor alert and why it's so important to be able to monitor what is going on with your air suspension system. Basically, we're in my girlfriend's Land Rover LR3, and she has an air suspension issues. She actually has two air suspension issues. Basically, over the period of maybe two nights, the front end of the vehicle will lower itself. Now, and it'll lower itself on both sides. Conventional wisdom or the internet will tell you, change the valve body because that's the system that holds air to both sides. The problem is, is that it's lowering on both sides with the EAS fuses in, which means that self-leveling is still in play and still on and it's going to self-level. And let me show you a graphic here on why that is important to understand that with self-leveling in, in play, it's going to tell you something completely different than when you remove the fuses. So you can see in this graphic here that one side is lower than the other because we park up on the curb here, that even though it's lowering on both sides, the vehicle is still self-leveling. So again, why is that important? Is because if I'm losing air on one shock, and the fuses are still in, it's gonna tell the other side to lower itself, okay? And then people will say, okay, well, that's obviously the valve body. Well, no, it's not because you are, the, the vehicle is still self-leveling itself. So again, if you lose air on one side, the other side is going to evacuate the air and self-level the vehicle because the sensors are still saying, hey, a vehicle is not level. So that's why it's important to not just go ahead and throw money in a valve body, while it still may be the problem, you still need to troubleshoot the system so that you're not spending money on something that doesn't might not need to be replaced. There's ways to troubleshoot it from pretty much all angles. Soap and water test is another good uh, example. Uh, and you know that's just one of the things that you're gonna have to go through. Um, or obviously you send it to a dealer and you're gonna spend above $1,000 to fix whatever issue that is and you might actually spend a thousand dollars on something and it's still not going to fix the issue so we want to try to avoid that now the second problem with her vehicle is let me show you exactly what's going on all right so what we're going to do here is going to we're going to go ahead and start her vehicle and we'll see that that compressor alert system will there you go it's on we mounted it up high so it's a little bit better for visibility um, but let's go outside here and listen to what's going on with the compressor. So, as you can see, the compressor is off and running, but what's happening is it sounds a little bit unhealthy. All right, let's get this set here. And the reason it sounds unhealthy is because the piston chamber is loose, okay? There should be some resistance here um, when we're uh, actuating the piston, but it's completely loose and that's the rattle that you're hearing in her compressor. All right, so there you have it, folks. Uh, basically, we have some issues we need to address with the leak as well as the compressor. Uh, unfortunately, with the compressor, it's either needs to going to be rebuilt or replaced because it's not generating compression efficiently. And when it doesn't do that, it overheats. And when it overheats, it breaks down, breaks down even faster. So the reason that we created the compressor alert is that it'll give you a visual cue to know what's going on with your compressor. If I'm sitting here driving, I've actually been sitting here in my vehicle for about five minutes and the light has gone off five times, letting me know something is actually wrong. Uh, if I don't have compressor alert, I, the compressor is in a soundproof box and I'm not going to be able to hear it if I have the radio going on or when the vehicle's going or when I'm driving. So that's why it's important uh, to know exactly what's going on with your compressor while you're driving. If you don't see the light, great. If you see it, better start paying attention. Get yourself a compressor alert. 